Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today we are going to study the 7th standard science, chapter 11, cell structure and the microorganisms. In this chapter, we are going to study about the cell, measurement of cell, cell size, difference between plant cell and animal cell and the parts of a cell. Similarly, we will see about the microorganisms, the nature, their growth, useful microorganism and the harmful microorganism, pathogens, etc. Explanation Cell Cellular organization is the primary characteristic of all living organisms and the cell is the Fundamental, structural and functional unit of all living organism means what here the cell is the basic fundamental structural and functional unit of all living organism because of the cell the whole organism forms. Now first of all cell forms then after that its tissue forms then after that the organ forms then organ system forms and the, thereafter it forms the whole organism. So we are the multicellular organisms in which we can say that we are having many different cells. So here we can consider the cell is the structural and the functional unit because cell is only able to perform the different types of functions in the body and make the organism living so that's why it is said as the structural and the functional uh, functional unit of the organisms discovery of a cell in 1665 a scientist robert hooke observed a thin section of a cork under a microscope See here, it shows you the section of a cock. He saw the hexagonal compartment like a structure and he named as the cells. Now, M.J. Sheldon and Theodore Shivon stated that all living organisms are made up of cells. Means the minute, tiny structure because of which each organism forms. Rudolf Virch, Rudolf Virchow in 19, 1885 stated that all the cells are formed from pre-existing cells. Now what this means? Pre means prior. Existing means hona. So here, pehle se maujood wale cells me se naye cells bante hai. Ye baat jo hai Rudolf Virchow ne 1885 mein describe kiya samjhaya ke pehle koi bhi cell jo hai wo pehle ke pehle hi nahi hota hai usme se naye cells bante hai and then the organism forms See, there are so many different types of the cells. Now, let us go with the measurement and observation of a cell. Anton van Leeuw van Hoek was the first who have discovered the microscope. Cells are extremely minute in the size. As I have said you, the microscope. The microscope is a device which is required to see the minute tiny cells because they are very minute, very tiny in their structure so we cannot see them with the naked eyes. Micrometer and nanometer are the units to measure the size of the cells because these are the very minute tiny units to measure the something. The compound microscope is used for the seeing the structure of a cell. So let us go with the simple experiment of the onion cells. You are supposed to take the peel of an onion and then you are supposed to remove its skin from the onion and then you are supposed to see it in the microscope. So here it is given you take a piece of onion, uh, onion and carefully separate the thin skin from its concave surface, inner surface. Concave means inner surface. And place a membrane on a glass slide and put a drop of water on it. And then 
we are supposed to put the glycerin or the eosine solution on it and then you are supposed to observe that in the compound microscope you will come to know that the onion cells are having a proper definite shape and the structure cell size there is a great variation in the shape of a cells here some of the picture of the cells are shown to you so each cell have their own different shape and a size and the structure their shapes are mainly related to their functions now here the shape of a cells are dependent upon their functions if they are requiring for the movement so they are having their different structure if they are requiring for the different metabolic processes so then they are having different structure so like that way their cells are having the different different shapes and the structure based on the functions which they are supposed to perform for example here the cells are of different types that is circular then rod shape then columnar then spiral then oval then rectangular each cell contains various component for carrying out the different life processes and that is called as the cell organelles in the structure of the organisms you come to know that the cell is having their own different components these components are nothing but called as the cell organelles these cell organelles make the cell to perform the different functions which they are carrying out in the body of the organisms these cell organelles cell organelles are studied in detail with the help of the electron microscope now what is electron microscope it is very compound structure very complex structure machine or a device which is used to see very minute very tiny structures of a cell and the important uh, microorganisms in the very clear study means what यहाँ पर आपको ये बताया जा रहा है कि कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप जो है वो कुछ हद तक के ही आपको सेल का स्ट्रक्चर दिखा सकती है जबकि इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप जो है उसका मैग्नीफिकेशन बहुत ज्यादा होता है इस वजह से सारे सेल्स का डीपली स्टडी करना या फिर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स का डीपली स्टडी करना पॉसिबल हुआ है सिर्फ और सिर्फ इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप की वजह से बिकॉज माइक्रोस्कोप इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप इज केपेबल ऑफ मैग्नीफाइंग द टू बिलियन टाइम्स दैन द एक्चुअल साइज मतलब इसका जो मैग्नीफिकेशन है बहुत ज़्यादा है टू बिलियन टाइम्स है टू बिलियन टाइम्स का मतलब है ट्वेंटी लैख टाइम्स यानी अगर कोई चीज़ बहुत छोटी है तो वो ट्वेंटी लैख टाइम्स उसको बड़ा करके हमको दिखाती है इसीलिए उसके स्ट्रक्चर्स को हम बहुत आसानी के साथ समझ सकते हैं पढ़ सकते हैं जान सकते हैं टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स देर आर मेनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स first one is the animal cell and the another one is the plant cell now here the cells are consisting of the various types of membrane bound cell organelles what this means membrane bound membrane ka matlab hota hai outer covering membrane means outer covering bound means it is फॉर्मिंग अ शेल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर मतलब जिस तरह से शेल होता है कवर होता है उसी तरह से मेम्ब्रेन का मतलब होता है पतला एकदम थिन स्किन टाइप जो है पतला सा जो है कवरिंग होता है ये सेल ऑर्गनल्स के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है हर सेल ऑर्गनल का अपना मेम्ब्रेन होता है अपना एक छोटा सा कवरिंग होता है बिकॉज ऑफ विच दे आर एबल टू बी आर रिकोगनाइज एबल टू बी स्टडीड वेल if the no membrane present around the structure of a cell organelles we cannot recognize them we cannot study easily so that's why they are having own membrane and hence it is called as membrane bound cell organelles plant cell 
cell have a definite shape due to the presence of the cell wall around them now here the plant cell this is the plant cell picture in front of you through the mouse pointer i able to show you the rectangular shape of the plant cell why because the plant cell is having a definite shape because of the presence of the cell wall in it the cell wall gives the proper shape to the plant cell because it is tougher harder in its structure so hence it maintains its shape besides unlike animal cells plant cells contain single large vacuole so here we are going to study the proper organs of the plant and animal cells all these are known as eukaryotic cells why it is called as eukaryotic cells the cells which are having a modified structure having a advanced structure is called as a eukaryotic cell it is it should be read e as eukaryotic it is not eukaryotic it is eukaryotic cell eukaryote means what the modified cells or the advanced type of a cell so all the animals and the plant cells are called as the eukaryotic cells plant cell we are going to study about the plant cell so here the plant cell is having here different structure so here one by one i will tell you what are the properly the plant cell so first of all i am starting with the inner circle that is present in between the center so here it is nucleus the cell structure or the cell organelle is called as the nucleus and this blue one is called as a nucleolus this is the nucleus then it is the nucleolus now it comes the orange structure which is nothing but the mitochondria the mitochondria are the energy house or the power house of the cell which are able to produce a large amount of energy now here comes the vacuoles vacuoles are the empty structure in the body of or in the cell of the plant which are having empty space to hold the required nutrient materials now here comes the cell wall that is the green color outer covering around the cell is called as the cell wall that is tougher harder in its structure and here it comes the cytoplasm the cytoplasm is the structure which is having a jelly like structure and it is completely filled inside the cell so that is a cytoplasm now it comes the chloroplast the chloroplast is a green color pigment which is giving the greenish color to the plant body and called as the chloroplast this chloroplast is also helpful in the process of photosynthesis now here comes the balloon like structure which is called as the golgi bodies or golgi complex both are correct one the it should be called as a golgi bodies or the golgi complex it is flecked balloon like structure and here comes the white colored covering this is called as a cell membrane now the cell membrane is a thin skin like structure which is responsible to hold the all cell organelles inside the cell so here this is the plant cell now further we'll go with the animal cell now animal cell now here we are having the animal cell in the animal cell this purple color shape in the between or in the center of the cell is nothing but the nucleus here the smaller dots are showed as a vacuoles and the lysosomes are the little reddish in color and they are smaller in structure so these are the lysosomes these one are the ribosomes the ribosomes are the smaller structure which is most important in the formation of the dna and the rna in the animal cell this flated balloon structure is called as golgi bodies or golgi apparatus the here the mitochondria are present and after the mitochondria it comes the endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum surrounds the whole nucleus and helps to protect the nucleus and this is the outer covering which is called as cell membrane so this cell membrane helps to maintain the structure of the
Now let us go with the each cell organelle in the detail. So here the cell has four main parts. Cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm and the cell organelles. Now each one we will study in a deep that is first one as a cell wall. The cell wall is the outermost covering of a cell. It is present only in plant cell. The cell wall is the outermost covering of a cell and only it is present in the animal. Sorry, it is present only in the plant cell. Now, as we have seen that the cell wall is the outer covering in the plant cell. Similarly, the second one is coming as a plasma membrane, which is the outermost covering in the animal cell. Means in the animal cell, no cell wall is present or we can say that cell wall is absent in the animal cell while it is present in the plant cell. And in the plant cell, because of the cell wall, the structure of the plant cell remains constant it doesn't change while because of the uh, plasma membrane present in the animal cell so they are having a flexible structure flexible structure and they can change their shape matlab jaise jo hai plasma membrane hota hai plasma membrane jo hai ek tarah ka outer covering hai jo animal cell mein hota hai iski wajah se animal cell ka jo hai particular shape size structure nahi hota hai balki ye jo hai animal cell ko maintain karke rakhta hai aur sath hi sath ise flexibility deta hai theek hai now here comes it is thin delicate and flexible in structure the outermost covering of a animal cell is called as cell membrane now here comes the cytoplasm the liquid part in the cell present around the nucleus and the cell organelles are scattered it is called as a cytoplasm now what is a cytoplasm see here the cytoplasm is present this is whitish color part jelly like structure is present all over in the cell and holds the nucleus as well as other cell organelles in a proper place so that is nothing but the cytoplasm and now here comes the cell organelles now these cell organelles are very different in their structure and a shape so we will study them one by one so these mainly include first of all the nucleus comes then endoplasmic reticulum comes then golgi bodies comes then lysosomes comes and the mitochondria also comes away so here the nucleus endoplasmic reticulum and the golgi bodies then lysosomes mitochondria then vacuoles and the ribosomes are also coming now vacuoles and plastids are the most important organelles in the plant cells the plastid is nothing but the chloroplast in the plant cell plastid jo hai kise kehte hai plastid means pigments pigments means coloring substances coloring structure so in the body of a plant the chloroplast is a green in color and it is comprises of the different compartments and it to give the greenish body to the plant cell and hence it is called as plastids nucleus is the most important organelle of the cell cell ka sabse important organelle kaun hota hai nucleus hota hai it has porous double membrane it controls all the functions of the cell now here porous porous means it is having a proper spongy shape sponge dekha hai na aapne jo aapki mummy use karti hai as a duster aur kitchen table saaf karne ke liye to us tarah ka porous hota hai yani usme jo hai sari cheeze soak ho jati hai so that is called as a porous so double membrane matlab ye ke double outer covering hota hai yani ek ke upar ek do cover chade hote hain so here it has porous double membrane and it एबल टू कंट्रोल ऑल द फंक्शन ऑफ द सेल सो जिस तरह से हमारी बॉडी में ब्रेन होता है एंड इट कंट्रोल ऑल द फंक्शन ऑफ द बॉडी सो सिमिलर वे इन द सेल द न्यूक्लियस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट कंट्रोल ऑल द फंक्शन ऑफ द सेल द एंडोप्लास्मिक रेडिकुलम इज स्प्रॉलिंग नेट लाइक ऑर्गेनल 
एंडोप्लास्मिक रेटिकुलम जो है आपका एक तरह से नेट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर होता है और ये पूरे जो है न्यूक्लियस के अराउंड होता है एंड इट इज ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्टिंग द न्यूक्लियस फ्रॉम एनी डैमेज मतलब वो डैमेज करने से या उसे नुकसान पहुंचाने से भी बचाता है कि सेल में अगर कोई इंजरी होता है कोई कुछ होता है सेल डैमेज होता है सो द एंडोप्लास्मिक रेडिक्यूलम जस्ट हेल्प्स द न्यूक्लियस टू प्रोटेक्ट इट सेल्फ Now, after that, its function is to make necessary changes in the protein produced by the ribosomes and send them to the. Now, here, what is the function of the endoplasmic reticulum? Endoplasmic reticulum helps in the synthesis of the proteins. Now, the proteins are produced by the numbers of the ribosomes which are present on the lining of the. एंडोप्लास्मिक रेडिकुलम्स एंडोप्लास्मिक रेडिकुलम के जो है इनर लाइनिंग पर राइबोजोम्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं जो कि प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस में प्रोटीन के प्रोडक्शन में हेल्प करते हैं और जो प्रोटीन है उसके स्ट्रक्चर में चेंजेस करने का काम भी किसका होता है एंडोप्लास्मिक रेडिकुलम का होता है in the golgi bodies now what are the golgi bodies golgi bodies are made up of the several flat sacs flat balloon like structure hota hai aur ye kis tarah se hota hai ki ye golgi bodies jo hai properly distribute karti hai protein ko throughout the cell yani it distributes the protein throughout the cell now comes the mitochondria they are the energy producer or the power house of the cell because they are able to produce the large amount of atps or adps that is adenine triphosphate or adenine diphosphate and hence produces the large amount of energy for the different life processes in the cell matlab din bhar jo hai aapko kaam karna hai aapko jo bhi work karna hai uske liye energy production ka kaam kahan hota hai mitochondria mein hota hai and they are able to produce the large amount of energy so that's why they are called as the power house of the cell the chloroplast in the plant carries out the functions of photosynthesis as i have said you the chloroplast or the chlorophyll pigment is the important one who is able to carry about the photosynthesis photosynthesis means it captures the solar energy and with the help of carbon dioxide and water it performs the production of the energy for the plant cell now vacuoles helps to throw out the waste product of the cells now vacuoles are of two type that is contractile vacuole and the food vacuole the contractile vacuole able to hold the large amount of waste product during the cell processes matlab cells mein jo hai bahut sari life processes ke dauran jo hai kuch waste products banti hai in sabhi products ko hold karne ka kaam kiska hota hai vacuoles ka hota hai aur vacuoles jo hai एक तरह के जो दूसरे कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल वैक्यूल्स है वो क्या करते हैं आपकी बॉडी में बहुत सारा अमाउंट ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट मटेरियल को रिटेन करके रखते हैं जिससे एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन आसान हो जाता है वैक्यूल इन एनिमल सेल आर स्मॉल वेयर एज इन द प्लांट सेल दे आर लार्जर इन द साइज मतलब एनिमल सेल्स में जो है वैक्यूल्स छोटे होते हैं जबकि प्लांट सेल्स में दे आर बिगर इन द साइज सो नाउ यर कांस द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर स्मॉलर इन द साइज देर आर सो मेनी लिविंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन द सराउंडिंग ऑफ द ईच इन एवरी environment so they are able to be seen through the compound microscopes we are unable to see those microscope through the naked eyes so here microorganisms are present around us in the all three medium that is air water soil food sewage and a garbage so these are all responsible for the living content of the All three environment मतलब यहाँ पर अगर हम बायोस्फीयर की बात करेंगे तो हमको ये बात समझ में आती है कि माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स के बिना पर जो है हमारा पूरा लिविंग 
वर्ल्ड कंप्लीट होता है दे आर प्रेजेंट इन एयर एज वेल एज इन वाटर एज वेल एज इन सॉइल एंड इन द फूड एंड अ सीवेज इन अ गार्बेज टू सो दैट्स वाई दे ऑल आर फॉर्मिंग द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द लिविंग वर्ल्ड as well as in the bodies of the plants and animals including human human in the body of the plant and animal and in the human there are so many different microorganisms are present these microorganisms are good for the health as well as some are harmful too some microorganisms are solitary that is they live singly सिंगली मतलब क्या वो अकेले रहते हैं उनको किसी भी कंपेनियन की किसी भी दोस्त की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती है तो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सॉलिटरी सॉलिटरी मीन्स दे आर लिविंग अलोन लाइक अमीबा पैरामीशियम युगलीना सम एज आई हैव सीड यू अमीबा पैरामीशियम वेर सम लिविंग इन कॉलोनीज लाइक अ मशरूम्स और द फंगस Some microorganisms live in the remains of the dead plants and animals. What this means? Some of the microorganisms are able to live on the dead bodies of the plants and animals. So they are called as scavenger. What they are called as scavenger or saprophyte. Getting me? So for example, fungus. Observation and measurement of microorganisms. by observing various types of microorganisms we can learn more about them on moisten piece of bread or a bakri fungi grows while microorganisms like amoeba is found under the water the curd or buttermilk contains yeast or lactic acid bacillus measurement One centimeter is equals to ten millimeter. One millimeter is equals to thousand micrometer. While the one micrometer is equals to thousand nanometer. We need to use an electro microscope to observe the microorganisms because they are very minute in their size and shape. So hence, now let us go with the different sizes of the different microorganisms. Paramecium about hundred micrometers. Bacteria of typhoid measures about one to three micrometers, while the polio virus is measured about twenty eight nanometers. Microbes measures less than thousand micrometers. Nature of microorganisms. Some microorganisms like the fungus that grows on bread or stems of algae in plant are multicellular. However, most microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses are the unicellular. Now here we are having two types of microorganisms. One is the multicellular and the unicellular. Multicellular means having many cells with them, while the unicellular means having a single cell throughout their life. So virus, bacteria, and other microorganisms are grouped under the unicellular, but fungi. algae these all are called as the multicellular organisms they have some what different cellular structure the properly microorganisms have their own different structure and hence they are differing in the shape size and structure too they do not have the membrane bound organelles found in the eukaryotic cell now in the eukaryotic cell the all type of the cells are having their own membrane that is own covering while in the cells of the microorganisms the membrane or the uh, covering is not present hence they are called as prokaryotic cell what they are called as prokaryotic cell the plasma membrane cytoplasm and nucleolides are the component 
such cells are called as prokaryotic cells see here i am showing you the structure of the microorganism this is the structure of the bacteria so here the pilus pilus is the most smallest one so here we are having pilus pilus is a hair like structure which is used for the locomotion or the movement now capsule capsule is outer covering in the structure of the microorganism then after that it comes the cell wall the cell wall maintains the structure of a microorganism and it gives the shape to the microorganic cells now your plasma membrane it is the inner covering after the cell wall lies and it maintains the internal organs on their own places now after that nucleoids now nucleoid is a network of the dna or rna which is present without the nucleus in the prokaryotic cell or in the micro organic cell now cytoplasm cytoplasm is a jelly like structure which is responsible to hold the all cell organelles on their own places now ribosomes are also present in the prokaryotic cell to help in the protein synthesis and this is the one long whip like flagellum is present which is most important for the use of the locomotion or the movement of the body National Center of Cell Science is in Pune Growth of microorganisms Many microbes need oxygen for their growth whereas some microbes can grow without the oxygen Some microorganisms survive even in extreme and adverse condition like the ocean floor ice in polar region hot water spring etc During adverse condition microorganisms form a thick covering around themselves on return to the favorable condition they come out of their outer covering and continue to the life processes according to the shape and life processes microorganisms are classified as algae fungi protozoa bacteria and viruses so now here whenever the microorganisms are performing their own life processes so they are having a different climates too means the climatic condition also responsible for the growth and development of the microorganisms so here if the microorganisms are living in the favorable condition they are not at all requiring any kind of the tough outer covering like a shell but suddenly when they are going into the unfavorable condition like at the polar region or at the ocean base so at that time they are forming a tough outer covering which is also called as the pouch so that pouch forms during the unfavorable condition and when they are coming into the favorable condition or climate changes out so that pouch is broken away and the all microorganisms released into the directly environment so here on the life processes structure of the life processes and the functions they performs the microorganisms are grouped under algae fang fungi protozoa bacteria and the viruses useful microorganisms activity take two earthen pots half filled with soil some waste material like garden waste dung food peel vegetable stock and paper scratch scrap etc mix with the soil in one pot with the while mix things like pieces of glass scrap metal plastic bags etc with the soil in another pot keep both pots at the same spot in the garden for 3 to 4 weeks micro present in the soil dung etc decompose the garbage to obtain food materials as a result garbage is soon converted into manure of the best quality of surrounding are kept clean as in the case of garbage for proper sewage disposal two microorganisms are needed into the sewage as so as a, to help in the quick decomposition of the organic compound and it matlab yahan par aapko kya bata raha hai ki useful microorganisms kaise hote hain wo hamari kis tarah se madad karte hain simple example hai aapne dekha hoga ammi ko ke aapki ammi jo hai 
दूध से दही बनाते हैं दूध से दही बनाना जो है वो एक गुड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म एक्टिविटी है इन विच द गुड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म आर एडेड टू द मिल्क एंड दे आर कन्वर्टिंग द मिल्क इन टू द बटर मिल्क और अ कर्ड और अ योगर्ट सो सिमिलर वे वेन एवर द सीवेज इज डीकम्पोज देर अगेन द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिक एक्टिविटी टेक्स प्लेस एंड द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म हेल्प टू डीकम्पोज टू ऑपटेन दे ओन फूड मतलब उनको खाने की जरूरत होती है तो वो डीकम्पोज करते हैं चीज़ों को सड़ाते गलाते हैं और उसको सिंपली सिंपल मैनर मैटर में कन्वर्ट करके अपना फूड जो है ऑप्टेन करते हैं और इस तरह से वो एनवायरमेंट की हेल्प करते हैं The microorganism converts the waste into the man manure are useful microbes. Some microorganism present in the soil and those in the root nodules of leguminous plants. Now, here some of the organisms, microorganisms are also present in the soil as well as in the root nodules of the leguminous plants. Leguminous plants are those plants, those who are having legumes. Legumes के लिए यहाँ पर आपको simply बताऊँ जैसे आपके पास example है grams. है ना या बीन्स की तो ग्राम्स और बीन्स जो है वो लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट्स होते हैं इनके जो रूट्स होते हैं उनमें गांठें होती है और इन गांठों में जो है माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स होते हैं जो सॉइल की फर्टिलिटी बढ़ाने का काम करते हैं सो दे आर द गुड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स कन्वर्ट एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन इन टू द कम्पाउंड नाउ दे आर फॉर्मिंग द नाइट्रेट्स और द नाइट्राइट ऑफ द एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन and hence they are helpful for the maintenance of the environment microbes are useful for producing milk products like butter buttermilk cheese paneer etc if microbes are allowed to grow in batter dough fruit juices etc they break down substances producing new compound as they grow and multiply in them मतलब यहाँ पे आपको क्या बता रहा है कि जब भी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स को गुड फूड स्टफ्स के साथ ग्रो किया जाता है तो ये उनके हार्मफुल और का जो कंपाउंड स्ट्रक्चर्स होते हैं उन चीज़ों के उनको कॉमनली जो है ये बहुत ही सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर्स में कन्वर्ट कर देते हैं और इस तरह से ये फूड को बहुत ही सिंपल बना करके हमारे लिए डाइटी और न्यूट्रिटिव बना देते हैं सो दैट्स वाई द डो ऑफ अ इडली है ना इडली का बैटर आपकी मम्मी बनाते होंगे तो आपने देखा होगा कि इट इज मोर गुड फॉर द हेल्थ व्हाई बिकॉज इट इज राइज इन बाई द माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटी सो दे आर रिड्यूसिंग द फैट कंटेंट एज वेल एज अदर हार्मफुल कंटेंट फ्रॉम द डो एंड दे आर इंक्रीजिंग इट्स न्यूट्रिटिव वैल्यू एग्जाम्पल रवा इडली भटूरा नान डोसाज यू माइट हैव सीन दैट रवा इडली भटूरा नान एंड डोसाज आर मेड बाई द फर्मेंटेशन फर्मेंटेशन इज नथिंग बट द ग्रोथ ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम इन द फूड स्टाफ्स ना Again, it comes the fermentation. The chemical process of conversion of one type of carbon compound into the other is called as the what? फर्मेंटेशन बाय द माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटी मतलब यहाँ पर अभी जैसे हमने थोड़ी देर आपको पहले बताया कि आप जो है सिंपली आपने देखा होगा कि आपकी अम्मी जो है पकोड़े वगैरह भी बनाने के लिए आपकी अम्मी थोड़ा सा जो है खाने का सोडा ऐड करते हैं है ना तो खाने का सोडा ऐड करने से क्या होता है उसमें जो बेटर है उसमें ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्रोड्यूस होती है विच हेल्प्स द डो टू राइज इन अवे विद हेल्प ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म सो दैट्स वाई दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ फॉर्मेंटेशन फॉर्मेंटेशन इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर एडेड टू द बैटर और अ डो विच राइज इट बाई द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन कंपाउंड एंड इट एंड हेल्प द बॉडी टू डाइजेस्ट इट सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज फॉर्मेंटेशन heat is generated in this process and the carbon dioxide and some other gases are released 
आपने देखा होगा कि जब भी जो है आपकी अम्मी बैटर बनाती है डोसा बनाती है तो डोसे में जो है आपने देखा होगा कि उसमें जाली जैसा स्ट्रक्चर बनता है नेट बनती है है ना तो आप ये सोचते होंगे कि ये नेट कैसे बनती है बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड द हीट जनरेटेड इन द बैटर बैटर में जो है एक तरह से हीट जनरेट होती है और उसी के साथ साथ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड उसमें प्रोड्यूस होती है जब हम उस बैटर को पकाते हैं तो उसमें से लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जो है वो रिलीज हो जाती है हवा में निकल जाती है इसीलिए वहां पर जो है छोटे छोटे डॉट्स या होल्स बन जाते हैं और वो पूरा नेट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर बन जाता है दीज गैसेस कॉज एन इंक्रीज इन द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ब्रेड इडली डो इटीसी द प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग योगर्ट फ्रॉम द मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग Alcohol from the grains and the fruits, bread from the flour. So here, the alcohol from the grains and the fruits, the bread from the flour, is also made by the fermenting process. Even the beer as well as the wines are also produced by the fermentation of the fruits and vegetables. So that's why they are very good in nutritive values. as well as in the production of acetic acid citric acid lactic acid vitamins and antibiotics these all are produced by the fermenting process now here acetic acid that is sirka citric acid it is also produced by the help of the citrus and the lactic acid produced in the curds even the vitamins and antibiotics are also produced with the help of the fermenting process some specific medicines destroy the pathogens and retard their growth that means for the special type of the medicines are there who are able to kill the harmful microorganism in the body and they are able to stop their growth so these are called as antibiotics antibiotics are produced with the help of specific microbes or the microorganisms disease like tuberculosis typhoid cholera which were previously considered to be incurable nowadays they are curable because of the help of antibiotics a vaccine is produced in a laboratory with the help of microorganisms or a microbes if we have vaccinated our immunity increases microorganisms are also useful in the process like tanning of skin production of ropes and string matlab dhage banane ya rassi banane ya fir skin ke kala pan ko dur karne ke liye bhi jo hai microorganisms jo hai wo bahut factor karte hain matter karte hain from agave now here some microorganisms are used to clear the layer of oil on the surface of an ocean or a lake form due to the leak or a spill matlab kai baar aise hota hai ke oil jo hai wo वाटर के सरफेस पर या ओशन के सरफेस पर जमा हो जाता है लीकिंग की वजह से या स्पिल की वजह से तब जो है माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स को इंट्रोड्यूस किया जाता है कि वो जा कर के यहाँ पर जो है क्लीन करे ऑयल की लेयर को और इस तरह से एनवायरनमेंट का क्लीनिंग सर जो है वो भी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स कर पाते हैं from waste human urine and the feces wet garbage etc is collected and used in the biogas plant to produce the biogas and a fertilizers now what is biogas biogas is a type of the product which is obtained by the organic waste as well as the human or the animal waste now here the animal products or the organic product from the farm or a field is obtained and took in a one big vessel and there the microorganisms are introduced to convert them to decompose the those waste material into the simpler compound as a result the large amount of biogas is produced with the help of the microorganism and the fertilizers are also obtained harmful microorganisms microorganisms of 
fungi which grow on pickle murabba jams etc spoils them so that's why the fungi is the saprophytic or scavenger in the uh, true means that they are spoiling the food stuffs and causing the harm to the food stuffs so if ignorantly we have took those food stuffs so we will get the food poisoning because these microorganisms are harmful for us in the body food poisoning some microbes use food stuffs for their own nutrition as they do it release some toxic material into the food such toxins spoils the food yahan par aapko kya bata rahe hai kuch microorganisms jo hai jab hamare khane par wo grow karna shuru karte hain to wo in mein jo hai kuch tarah ke jo hai harmful substances ko release kar dete hain jise hum toxic materials kehte hain aur is tarah se ye jo hai khane ko spoil karte hain aur agar humne ignorantly us khane ko kha liya to hame food poisoning ho jayegi yani wo toxic substances hamari body mein ja kar ke हमारी इम्यूनिटी को कमजोर करेंगे या हमारे इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स को डिस्टर्ब करेंगे ईटिंग सच फूड कैन कॉज लूज मोशन ऑन वॉमिटिंग द पैथोजन डिसीज producing microorganism now what are the pathogens pathogens are the special type of the microorganisms which are causing the diseases in the human animal and in the plants pathogen may be present in water bodies contaminated with the sewage and the dirt from the surrounding in food left uncovered in unhygienic condition the pathogen jo hai wo har tarah ke medium mein aasani se present hote hain inme jo hai wo dirty water bhi hota hai jo contaminated water hota hai ya phir food stuffs jo hote hain jo kafi der tak khule rakh diye jaye to unme makhi wagaira ya machhar baithne se bhi jo hai पैथोजन से डिसीज कॉजिंग जर्म्स जो है उसमें पहुंच जाते हैं इसी तरह से हवा में भी होते हैं जैसे कि आजकल कोविड 19 में है कोविड 19 का वायरस जो है वो एक्टिव है ओपन सराउंडिंग में ओपन एयर में दैट्स वेट इज आस टू कवर द फेस एंड द माउथ है ना सो दैट्स वाई वी आर सपोज टू कवर इट तो इस तरह से जो है माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स जो है वो ओपनली किसी भी मीडियम में प्रेजेंट होते हैं एंड इफ दे आर कमिंग इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद ह्यूमन बींग दे कैन कॉज द हार्म और डिसीज इन द ह्यूमन बींग सच एज द कंटामिनेटेड फूड कॉज द डिसीज ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री कैनाल लाइक अमीबियासिस और द टाइफॉइड अमीबियासिस इज अमीबॉइक डिसेंट्री इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अमीबियासिस जो है वो एंट अमीबा हिस्टोलिटिका की वजह से होती है और इस तरह से ये जो है आपकी जो इंटरनल इंटेस्टाइन है उनका जो है एक तरह का इन्फेक्शन होता है जिसको रिकवर होने में काफ़ी टाइम लग जाता है एंड टाइफॉइड यू नोज मेनी ऑफ द टाइम यू हैव सीन दैट द पर्सन इज हैविंग सीवियर फीवर हेड एक एज वेल एज हैविंग अ फटी टू contaminated organisms are also responsible to cause the cholera hepatitis and other diseases common cold diphtheria like that way even the tb is also caused by the microorganism mosquito produce reproduce in places like heaps of the garbage drains and they are able to cause the malaria dengue elephantiasis and the yellow fever chikungunya zika fever gain entry into human body through the bite of the mosquitoes the material like gunny bags cotton clothes paper rubber etc are the plant products and leather and animal product spoil or damage due to the microorganisms of fungi in a humid atmosphere aapne kai baar dekha hoga ki aapki bahut si cheeze jo hai barish ke dino mein kharab ho jati hai to ye kyun hota hai because the microorganisms like fungi or other organisms are also able to grow in the moist atmosphere because of which in the rainy season most of the articles get spoiled or destroyed away because of the microbial activities now here we have completed till here 
further we are going with the summary of the chapter the cellular organization is the primary characteristic of all living organism the cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of all living organisms the cells are extremely minute in the size hence we are supposed to use the compound microscope to observe these cells there are two types of cells animal cells and the plant cells in both the type of a cell the nucleus is the main organelle while the cell membrane endoplasmic reticulum golgi body mitochondria are the other cell organelle chloroplast or the chlorophyll is only present in the plant cell where as the cell wall is only present in the animal uh, plant cell the organism which cannot be seen with our eyes but can only be observed under the microscope are called as microorganisms some cells do not have the membrane bound organelles they have plasma membrane cytoplasm and nucleoloid are called the prokaryotic cells the microorganisms are of three types some are useful some are harmful while some are pathogen that they are disease causing one the useful microorganism convert the garbage into the manure fixes nitrogen helps to make many food products like antibiotics and the vaccination vaccines Harmful microorganism cause food poisoning and the different diseases in our body due to the contact with the unhygienic water body sewage polluted air or insect like mosquitoes pathogen enters into the human body and cause the many different diseases So here we have completed our chapter number 11 inshallah in the next video we are going to meet with the ne next chapter next uh study we will study the next chapter and till here ab tak ke liye itna hi aap se request hai ki channel ko subscribe kijiye video ko like kijiye and give the comments too that how the video is there okay assalam alaikum jazakallah khair